I don't know about you guys, but regardless of what season it is or what it's looking like outside, a hoodie, in my opinion, is vital to life. The vital parts are some really great memories and what I would consider the coffee to my wardrobe. Just hear me out. You got your plain black coffees, you know, your non-branded essential hoodies, but you also got what I would call the cappuccinos, the mocha lattes, you know, your John Elliott hoodies. You're still gonna get coffee, but just done up a tad bit. So with that being said, would an anti-social social club sweatshirt be a cappuccino with the unnecessary designs on the top? You let me know. Anyways, hopefully I didn't lose you. Let's go over the top five types of hoodies you may or may not need in your wardrobe. Number one, we got the essential hoodie. Your champion hoodies, Nike fleeces, your Walmart buy one get one freeze, basically your Kanye merch without the Kanye. This is your beater hoodie. Your rock to the gym and after cross multiplying a bunch of defenders, accidentally leave it on the side of the court hoodie. These hoodies come in every single color you could think of. Red, green, pink, fuchsia, periwinkle. Basically, you could have a hoodie to match every single pair of Jordan ones if that's your thing. Not really my thing but maybe your thing and speaking of your girl this is the hoodie that is most likely to get stolen by her but it's all good because essential hoodies are cheap as shit and they can easily be replaced unlike you though you're her one and only Aww. next up we have your merch hoodie now this is the essential hoodie with the kanye the number one way to let your friends know you went to the concert and genuinely enjoyed the music totally didn't buy it for the hype with that being said what percentage of people that wear these merch hoodies do you think actually go to the concert just curious. Anyways, the merch hoodies, some can get really expensive. I would not overpay for these. Next up, we have the vintage hoodie. These could be actual vintage or reconstructed pigment dyed through the wash hall tumbled the trillion times vintage, AKA fake vintage, which is okay too. Regardless if it's genuine vintage or not, these type of hoodies have gained crazy popularity in recent years and just seem to be a staple in everyone's wardrobe. I'm wondering how we went from fresh all white sneakers and fresh black hoodies to now faded hoodies that are basically gray and dirty distressed Air Force Ones in the wavy poppy. I don't know, man. Fashion is weird. Also within this category, we have the overly hyped vintage center switch hoodies, aka I need every color in the rainbow hoodie. Oh yeah, let me get Travis Scott's Dookie Brown one too. His is the rainbow exception. These are pretty hard to find though. I say just buy a plain old hoodie and have a seamstress stitch a little switch right there dab in the center. Hype DIY! Hype DIY! All in all, you cannot go wrong with the vintage hoodie right now. Next up, we got the oversized crew neck. Something about these, they just be in different. Also, it's never a bad idea to let your neck breathe a little bit. Show off that neck. You got a chain on? Well, sometimes you gotta let that chain shine from behind. You can't do that with the regular hoodie. And some would say it's a classier version of the hoodie, what society would deem as slightly more presentable. And next we have the casual hoodie, basically like your essential hoodie, but uh, a little bit more expensive. These are done up with your premium materials such as Pima cotton, tumble fleece, or even French terry. As far as brands go, your CDG, Stone Island, John Elias, basically the Frappuccino of hoodies. Everybody needs a good Frappuccino once in a while, a little expensive, unnecessary, but who doesn't want one? These hoodies are a bit pricier than your average hoodie, so you'll want to handle them with a little bit of care, bring them to the dry cleaners, wear them to special occasions, and don't let your girlfriend steal them. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that top five types of hoodies you guys need in your wardrobe. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any questions. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.